Tragedy struck the world of jazz on June 13, 2013 in Woodland Hills, California, when pancreatic cancer took the life of the father of jazz flute, Sam Most, at 82 years old. He is the man who introduced the flute to jazz. Before the 1960s, flutes were rarely played by jazz musicians. But after Sam Most, the flute became another element in the ensemble, integrating itself into jazz music. Sam Most had a very unique way of playing the flute that was unlike any other musician in his time. Charles Mingus even called him the world's greatest jazz flutist. Sam Most was born on December 16, 1930, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, to Lithuanian immigrants Jacob Most and Dora Kaplan. He grew up in the Bronx with his parents and four siblings. In his youth, Sam learned to play the clarinet, flute, tenor sax, and piano with help from his older brother Abe, who played the clarinet. By the age of 17, Sam Most was a professional musician with a passion for bebop, which stemmed from his idolization of Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. He studied at City College in New York and the Manhattan School of Music. At 18 years old, Most began playing in orchestras led by Tommy Dorsey, Boyd Rayburn, and Don Redman. Early in his career, Most developed a technique of humming into the flute as he played, acquired accidentally, he claimed, when he was simply trying to practice quietly. When he noticed the unique quality of the sound, it stuck. Sam Most toured with jazz musician Buddy Rich, one of the world's greatest drummers, from 1959 to 1961. He released a variety of solo albums in which he showcases his talents and was the subject of a 2001 documentary titled Sam Most Jazz Flutist. Throughout the 1950s, Most established himself as a prominent jazz musician, a flautist in a landscape dominated by trumpets and saxophones. Inspired by the playing styles of Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, he was also one of the first to utilize the flute in jazz. Thank you. 